Sugar addiction. It's real, but you can beat it. Your parents might have told you when you were a kid, don't eat too much sugar, it'll rot your teeth. And that's probably about as much as you heard growing up about the effects of sugar. At least it was for me. But cookies, candy, and ice cream can be so yummy and therefore hard to stay away from. Although many of us find these sweets extremely tasty, what if I told you that eating so much of these foods that contain sugar was changing the chemistry of your brain and forming an actual addiction to sugar? Well, it is. According to a study at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, neurochemical changes occur in the brain when we overeat sugar, similar to what happens with addictions to drugs like alcohol or morphine. Sugar addiction, like many other addictions, starts with the rush of dopamine in the brain. Dopamine, also known as the happy chemical in our brains, is a neurotransmitter that turns on the reward circuit and makes us feel really good inside. If you've ever felt a sudden rush of happiness after eating your favorite sweets, that feeling was no coincidence. A dopamine rush was in progress. Our brains get used to the dopamine stimulation we get from eating sweets, which leads us to eat more and more sugar in order to feed our brain's constant craving for dopamine that the sugar provides. Studies also show that eating too much sugar produces negative effects on our bodies, such as weight gain, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, depression and anxiety, acne, among many other things. So how do we combat sugar addiction? Unfortunately, it's not as simple as just avoiding sweets. Sugar has been sneakily added into so many of our processed foods these days, even the savory ones, that just about everything has some added sugar in it at the grocery store. A great way to avoid this is to try to stay away from processed foods as much as possible, sticking to whole foods that don't come in a package. If you are going to keep eating processed foods, take your time while grocery shopping and be sure to read nutrition labels to see how much sugar has been added to the product. Doctors recommend that we stay under 25 grams of added sugar per day. For me, I find that staying below the double digits has kept my blood sugar in the optimal range and benefited me immensely. If you're curious about how much or how little sugar intake may be right for your specific health needs, be sure to consult your healthcare practitioner. If you are looking for some natural sweeteners to replace added sugar in your diet, try adding natural sweeteners like honey, agave, stevia, monk fruit, and maple syrup to sweeten your dishes. With a replacement of high added sugar containing foods, your body and mind will surely thank you.